All right, so what's up with y'all boys, man? Um, this is me showing y'all niggas some proof that I'm withdrawing from my Forex funds. Now, I wasn't, I, I don't think I was trading for like two weeks. I had stopped trading for two weeks, some shit. Um, some shit was going on. And plus, like, I didn't want to fucking, I wanted to withdraw a certain amount of money. And that it just kept going up and down. Now, it was like when I passed the combine. Like, me actually going through the combine was so easy, but then once I got the account and I had to wait that month, it was just going up and down. Like, bro, I don't want to, like, I got to wait this long to withdraw. I'm trying to withdraw a decent amount, bro. So it'll go down. It'll kind of piss me off. But I had got that 2600 easily. And then on here, it was kind of like, it's been kind of iffy and shit, but... The whole process to withdraw is pretty easy, but I had to wait a day because I couldn't find my username and password to log in. So that was uh, the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The bullshit with that, but it was cool though. Overall, in my account, I had like 957. So I'm getting 70% uh, of that. So I just went ahead and put that 670 down here, as y'all see. And I withdrew with crypto. I'm not going to scroll down because it's going to show my crypto wallet and shit. But you pretty much just type in your shit. And, um, it should come. Now, I'm probably going to, like, probably cut this video, like, today. And I'm going to show y'all, like, when the withdrawal comes in. So y'all know, like, if this prop firm is a scam or not or it's legit. You feel me? But... I'm 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 waiting on this withdrawal. I need this withdrawal. Hell, you talking about? I need it, bit. But I'm gonna cut back to y'all when this withdrawal hit, though. All right. So it's been like I think like two days. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you can just look at the bottom right. It'll show the time on my desktop. But I'm finna show proof that I got the withdrawal. It was more than I thought. So let me show y'all right here. So in my in my trading account, I had like 957 in there, but I was just like, all right, so I, 70%, I think it was going to be like 670, then plus like the 150 refund, but I didn't know it was going to be this much. So it was more than I expected. So it was close to a uh, 1,000. I was like, damn, I was not expecting that shit. So when I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? This shit popped up and I was like, what the fuck? So I could have withdrew it from... So I could have withdrew it initially from my Coinbase account, but I know I got this one uh, address on there that's fucked up. So I didn't want to put it on there because on deal. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing I forgot to tell y'all. So I had sent the thing where I wanted to get withdrew from, but they said that it's going to go through deal. Like this shit right here is going to go through deal. So... I had to sign the contract for that and stuff. So after I signed the contract for that and I put in the payment information and stuff, it came like a few hours later. It was like five hours after that. And I put it on there. It showed Coinbase and I wanted to put it on my stable coin, uh, USDC. I think it's something like that. But like I said, I got one address that's kind of messed up. So I just put it through PayPal and I withdrew it from PayPal and shit. But PayPal kind of pissed me off because I think they took more money than having it through Coinbase. And they said I had to wait like like 48 hours for it to come in my bank account. So I still don't have it in my bank account, but it definitely popped up in my pay my PayPal. And I'm going to show you all that. I can see this is the video I screen recorded on my phone and stuff to show you all like. See, it took off a little fee. It came in from deal, you know what I'm saying? And I transferred it out to my bank. So just so y'all see, you know what I'm saying? This is real. And during the time like where it showed up in my PayPal, I would do that shit instantly. I forgot about the video. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, let's go, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it was definitely a great experience for me. This is my first withdrawal, really. I mean, when I was trash abusing the fib, I'm kind of mad my other channel got deleted. But when I was trash using the fib, like on Ninja Trader, the minimum you can withdraw is 250. So 
I'd like win 200, take out 250, and I lose 50 from the account. And then like I'll lose some. I won't have enough to have a certain amount of contracts. I'll put that bread right back in there and lose it. So even though I would drew it and it tapped my account, it never stayed. But this is staying because it's no putting this money back in the combine. Like I put down 150 and I got close to a band. You know what I'm saying? That's it just really hit me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this was a good experience. First withdrawal from my first funds. You know what I'm saying? They legit. I'm looking forward to uh once I withdraw some more, I really want that hundred K account so I can really live off this. You know what I'm saying? I wanna that's my whole goal, like to really live off this. But you know what I'm saying? This was just a quick little video. My first withdrawal, my forex funds. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep y'all boys tapped in, but that's it for this video though.